This is an expanded version of my blog post of December the 5th, 2018. It includes the history of the new Kosciuszko Bridge back to when it started construction. The Kosciuszko Bridge, dedicated in 1939, carried the Brooklyn Queens Expressway at a dizzying height across Newtown Creek. It was a notorious bottleneck on the BQE, and like much of New York City's infrastructure, its maintenance had been neglected for decades. A few years ago, the powers that be decided to replace it. The new bridge will be cable stayed and will have nine lanes plus a bike path and a pedestrian walkway. As you'll see, it does not look quite like this early rendition at the bottom of the page. The Queensbound span of the new bridge rose beside the old bridge, a wonderful event if you happen to be addicted to photographing New York architecture and infrastructure. I like these two photos because they show the structure of the old and new bridges so well. They also show how very much the old bridge needed repair or replacement. On these two photos from December 2017, all the stays but the top one have been inserted. The Queensbound span opened to traffic on April 27th, 2017. With both directions of BQE traffic using it, there's not much in the way of bottleneck reduction. At night, the towers and the stays are lit rather splendidly. Through summer 2017, the old and new Kosciuszko bridges crossed Newtown Creek side by side, as you can see in the photo on the right. Since it's above a navigable waterway, the center span of the old bridge was dismantled piece by piece. The spans at either end were brought down by controlled, de ne yeah, controlled demolition in October 2017. The arches that held the center span were among the last pieces to be taken down and hauled off. Once the old bridge was out of the way, construction of the Brooklyn-bound span began. The towers for that one sit on the Queen's side of Newtown Creek. In these two photos, you can see how the workers extend the roadway out from the towers as the cable stays are rigged up to support it. By the end of 2018, the towers were at nearly their full height, although all the stays haven't been in yet. There will be more to come. I will add to this video as the bridge progresses. Thank you for listening. If you're not already on the Sunday recommendations list, the URL and the email are on the screen. You can support me. I really appreciate it on Patreon at $5 a month or follow me for free there. And check out dianedrantywriter.com for posts on sculpture, painting, music, Central Park, and my many other obsessions. Thank you for listening.